Hi, this is Abdulaziz Khan with you with my today's uh, commentary on some news channel headlines. So, the another black man who was killed. Uh, his videos are also being surfaced, and it's being said that it's a homicide, and uh, it means that the police people should face charges. But uh, let's see, because uh, even for George Floyd, uh, there were charges, and uh, then we see that there was a big, a million dollar, more than a million dollar bailout, but it was crowdfunded, and then he was announced with one million dollar pension as well. So. I think this is not the justice which is going on, it's just covering up the things so that everything passed by one more time and then maybe the US people should be waiting for some other George Floyd to be killed and then another uh, series of rights should start again, maybe. So it does not look like, I mean, still the protests are there, protests have not ended, uh, but no concrete thing is going on. The thing is being shown by uh, the big guy. He's more interested in winning the next election. Maybe he will win it or not, we don't know, but uh, he's not, uh, interested in anything else so let's see what happens it becomes a big awakening or it becomes a, another sleeping pill so one of the philippine journalists is found guilty of cyber libel and uh, so the problem is that you know if someone is sitting on a very big uh, seat it's not very easy to find a concrete proof against him because he's uh, doing everything. So, but if you make a story and there is any glitch in the story, then they, if they start catching you like this, I mean, so uh, the press journalist, their work should become very much uh, difficult. I mean, they should not be fully allowed to say whatever they want but at least they should be given some kind of uh, protection because uh, we know that in a lot of uh, uh, stories it's not very easy to find concrete things even some of the stories when they reach to the justice department and still at that time uh, when very high level investigations are done then they are sometimes found uh, truthful, sometimes they are found to be false. So for a simple journalist, it's not very easy that he can bring a full story which is which covers everything. So, but let's see, uh, the Filipino president is also a tough guy. So he's also showing that he's also very tough. So US is patrolling in Pacific Ocean so maybe China will start patrolling near New York City we don't know how China will retaliate but uh, now Boris Johnson desperately needs his lockdown gamble to pay off everyone needs this gamble to be paid off because uh, even we can see that, I mean, uh, for example, just if we bring it again with another perspective, like we see in this pandemic, the WHO, it takes sides, uh, or or we can say that it changes, it took U-turns on it, statements like for asymptotic people, uh, corona is uh, airborne, and these kind of things. So even this, if this level of agency does not have concrete evidence of a scientific thing, then how can a simple journalist bring actual uh, things of against uh, a president? 
just a correlation i mean not uh, something uh, as a hard and fast rule but uh, coronavirus cases surge in some us states so they are going down somewhere and going up somewhere some people have opened up fully and some people are still like our countries we are still in a chaos that whether we should open or we should close 17 foot python put a fierce fight before being captured so maybe he came to take revenge of uh, the black man then uh, who was killed in florida but before taking his revenge he was caught up so let's see who else comes after him so bankruptcy is also being uh, on the rise or uh, because things are basically tough all the gdp growth uh, indicators are going down for many of the countries only a few countries are in the plus otherwise everyone is going towards minus as well so things are going to be tough so disney and the disney is going to open up for the people so things are open up opening up as well melania trump is avoiding as the traditional first lady role so yes if there is a pandemic then why she should uh, put her life on the stake i mean is uh, is uh, husband should go wherever he wants to go a kentucky tattoo shop is offering to cover up hate and gang symbol for free okay good good gesture by a person so uh, airport is rotting in uh, greece so they have made two airports and then one airport right now both are closed so they are opening one only and uh, other one is closed from many years this happens sometimes you feel that you are you have a lot of potential and then when you do something then only you came to know that and uh, the potential was not that much so maybe this same happens in this greek airport as well so a sinking boat with nine people on board and it was rescued so very good good rescuer they rescued uh, on time let's go to bbc so france is lifting curves and uh, emmanuel macron is saying that france has won now let's see i mean we know that france is not like new zealand uh, france has a much bigger population and uh, uh, just yesterday people were uh, fighting with uh, police on the streets so today he has opened uh, ban so virus lockdown is easing in england and france uh, but the number are going up on, on a lot of places even beijing has again virus spikes and some market is being uh, locked down so things are going tough basically china is launching a new airline despite this travel ban and these kind of things so this china has almost always some big news to um, make people feel that China has maybe something different than the world. So apart from this, we don't have uh, any big news. So in Urdu it says Beijing some more areas being sealed. Punjab is Pakistan is having more than 1,000 deaths. 
so china we go to china now china is helping supporting uh, bangladesh and uh, donating blood for world donor day this uh, they are putting uh, temporary stands because the big wholesale market is closed see this beautiful area beautiful highway in Sichuan and this China flooded region battle natural disasters so China is uh, having some disaster and having some good things initial output is still going high mainland report 49 new confirmed cases so China is you can say that everything good and bad this picture if you see I like something about and if you see all these houses all of them has a very uh, very similar pattern I mean all of them has a number of solar panels on the roof so China is you know the good thing is in China that they should be copied I mean because they the government puts a lot of effort to keep the people on the same level uh, so that people can rise together so prayer on wheels held in uh, Bangalore India so that people can stay together and then they can be physically separate as well so Israel and Algeria also observe the world a blood donation day so let's go to Al Jazeera Al Jazeera also starts with uh, Beijing that Beijing has a big spike and uh, the Filipino journalist who get a uh, big uh, I mean uh, big blow on press freedom so nothing is specific on Egypt and Ethiopia this can be even a fight as well because of the Nile water issue let's see what happens a lot of statues are being defaced around the world so I don't know I mean putting a statue is not a good thing but if it is there I mean just defacing it will make what so we come to writer so coronavirus is increasing in the US Atlanta police shooting is a homicide same news so is increasing increasing day by day Peru has a small government uh, funded militia to put some justice in the rural areas and now they are uh, uh, lashing they have put a uh, lashing uh, as a punishment for the people who broke uh, quarantine because we know that uh, Corona is hitting very hard in uh, Brazil and the area nearby so this picture of yesterday uh, which I also thought that it's a kind of fight but basically this person the white person he got uh, uh, he got some injuries and this black guy basically they are they, they were from the different things he was pro this black guy was pro trusting for uh, the black lives matter and this black this white guy they attacked these people and he saved this guy basically so this is a symbol of humanity that uh, this person who is being oppressed by this guy basically a kind of if we see the story now he's when the oppressor came to a, a position that he needs some help then this oppressed guy he helped his oppressor to get out of the uh, place because he was injured and he uh, 
picked him and he took him out of the area, the ranger area. So this gives a very big uh, message to the white guy, to the humanitarian people that how come you label these guys in the same way and how come you make fun of them and how come you are still oppressing them when they are always showing you a very bright side I mean only their color is black but generally they are very bright that's because you have oppressed them because they are in a very bad situation that's why sometimes they do something bad because they don't have jobs they don't have money they don't have anything so that's why if you someone don't have anything he should use maybe a wrong way as well to get something but I don't know uh, if the people should ever give it uh, should he uh, that this all white and black supremacy is is nothing but uh, making fool of uh, the humans. So Asian stocks are still falling down because of the second uh, wave that may struck because it's uh, getting bad and bad in uh, uh, in the in, in China. So Los Angeles has a very big protest. Black Lives Matter. And uh, this e-company, Skillsoft, very famous company, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. So things are not, even in this pandemic situation when a lot of people have, are shifting towards uh, this e-learning, they are not having a good time. Or maybe they are using this as a time to reform themselves because Chapter 11 does not mean that the company is going to be a bankrupt. They want to reform a lot of things. They want to reduce their debt and these kind of other things. So maybe it, they are trying to get some uh, breathing space. Uh, just like George Floyd was asking for some breathing space. If he had also been given some breathing space, maybe the things should be different. So Skillsoft is also asking for some breathing space. Their loan is, uh, has reached $2 billion. They want to make it at least half so so let's uh, end today's uh, commentary and uh, let's hope let's pray that uh, things get fine people are giving their life the black people basically giving their life one by one and they just want something good to come out of it and we also believe that if someone gives his life for some principle, then generally we found that something good comes out of it. So let's hope and pray for everyone. And uh, let's hope that the things get better for the whole world. There should be police reforms. There should be anti-racism reforms. Not only we should talk about uh, stopping racism, we should launch anti-racism reforms. Not just putting a black man on some high seat under pressure so that he's not able even to deliver and then you just fire him off. So we need to have some real uh, concrete reforms. So see you tomorrow with tomorrow's headlines. Uh, bye. Goodbye.